I get it. <laughs> I get that. I got it. You did? I... Okay. <laughs> All right. Happy Let's birthday a- to me. That's exactly what I was going to say. Let's address the elephant in the room. It's his birthday. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thanks. <clears throat> I'm, I'm 22. I just want to see something pretty. Happy birthday to you. I don't know if that will change anything, but yeah. I turned it down, then turn it back up in well, case it didn't. Find out you edit. Yeah. Edit what? <laughs> Do you just wink at me? <laughs> what? Me too. I did. Me too. If I did, I got to you <laughs> winked on. I know what. I do want to address something though. Okay. Um, it's my house. It doesn't have an address yet. <laughs> I really thought. I really thought. So I say so. You really caught me off guard. All right, <clears throat> let's go and start the intro. Okay, okay. ready? It's your cue to go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. We should do this song like that every week, too. <laughs> All okay. right. I don't know why we always point to Mike. Like, like he's the one that does it. Like, we're, talking, we're talking to him like, like the he. He <laughs> says, like, he's the one that does it. Hey, his name is Mike. He's part of this group. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Welcome to Shifting Gears. We have five different gears we're going to go through, five different topics we're going to talk about. Let's get to the first one. Shifting right into first gear here, we'll, I want to talk about something um, that we haven't talked about. I know it's been talked about heavily on a lot of different other NASCAR uh, YouTube stuff, but it's uh, the fact that, one, Tyler Reddick is now going to 23 11 big. racing in 2024, big. not next yeah. year, which I can, I can see... Possibly, Richard Childress buying him out. Sorry about that. That's okay. Richard Childress buying him out, and then him not being in that ride next year, and he has to figure something out. But I don't necessarily think it's going to happen. But then also, Ty Dillon is out at Richard Petty now, and he doesn't have a ride. Right? Exactly. Nope, not yet. So, and I could see him going to RCR, having his two grandsons race for him. But I don't think that'd be the best move for RCR as yeah. a business. No offense to them. Nobody would like it. Nobody yeah, like it. no offense to them. It's just they're not good. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> no offense. I, I, do, I do. Here's here's a bold take. Ready? Ready for a bold take? All right. I think Ty Dillon's better than Austin Dillon. I just don't think yeah. he's ever had the equipment to prove it. Yeah. And I think Austin Dillon is locked in a lot. I would, I would have to wins. agree with that. But I don't. that's not saying Ty Dillon's good. I just think he's better than Austin Dillon. Yeah. But, and then also... Kyle Busch not having contract yes, yet. Yes, Kyle Busch not having so, a ride for next year yet. There's a lot of stuff. I mean, we'll, we'll talk about it really, really quick. Yeah. Let's just give quick. our points of view of it real quick, like, as fast as we can. Mm-hmm. But anyway, I'll go first. Okay. Go the Reddick thing. I thought it was almost funny how apparently he didn't tell his team <laughs> he was leaving. <laughs> That's funny. I found out how we found out with mm-hmm. him joining the Hamlin in the chat to be the funny way to announce whatever. Yeah. That's kind of funny. I, I wouldn't have done that, but that's kind of funny. Yeah. Um, it's not mostly the most professional, but. Yeah. And my, just real quick, I also think he's actually going to do really good in 2311 racing. Yeah. So, I think he will. I think he'll have better that's, equipment. That's only two years away <clears throat> for 2311 to get even better. So. Yeah. I think Eric Estep said it best if you watched his video where he said <laughs> that uh, he thinks RCR and, toy- and 2311 are right here right mm-hmm. now. But RCR doesn't have, is not going to go anywhere. And, and 2311 is, just has everywhere to go. Yeah. So right now, they're about the same level going, maybe even RCR better. But I think as the years continue, I think Tyler yeah. will have better equipment eventually. Yeah. But here's, I just want to say this. Here's what I think is going to happen. 
and no, this is all speculation from me. Tyler Reddick will will go twenty three eleven. I think he replaces Kurt Busch. Kurt Busch retires. Um, uh, Ty Dillon, I think, goes to RCR in the eight car. Noah Gregson goes into forty two car is what my guess would be, mm-hmm. and then um, I say that Kyle Busch. Um, I want to say he stays with JGR, but he's even talking to other teams now. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work. I'll be interested. I don't see. know. I don't really know. I don't really. I can't really say where he goes. I don't. I don't. Here's know. my prediction: If he doesn't stay to GR, Ty Gibbs moves up. To yeah. Fill if he, yeah. If he doesn't, Ty Gibbs definitely takes his his yeah. spot. Um, I think Ty, Joe Gibbs almost all but said that. Mm-hmm. But uh, Kyle Busch, if he does not go with JGR, I think. Who? I think he retires. So I don't where know. does he's he go? Talk, he's talking about another team, but I, the whole issue is he, does, he Joe Gibbs can't afford to have him. He's got to mm-hmm. have sponsorship. I don't think he's going to cut the cost to go yeah. to a team that also is and, lower. And he, he can't find a sponsorship, <clears throat> sponsorship now, so how's he going to find one to get to? Him? I know, unless Anyways. he goes to a team that has it, like maybe 20 through 11. Yeah. And he won't have a charter, but no. he might have the sponsorship because 20 through mm-hmm. 11 is bringing in a lot of sponsorship. Yeah. So or maybe like Trackhouse. I don't see him, but I don't see him because they don't have any other charters. Mm-hmm. But anyway, I don't know. All right, shifting in the second year, Austin Dillon and Brad Kozlowski. Yeah, I don't really know what happened. I don't necessarily even. Nobody think, really does. I don't even think they know what happened. Yeah, I think in my in, for my thing, <clears throat> what I think happened is uh, they were both. It's really hot in the car. I don't know if it's you're a like frustrating me. Frustrating track. If anybody's like me. But um, when I get hot, I get very angry very quickly because I hate the heat so much. I'm very much a winter, I like cold guy. That's how it is. But um, I think Brad Kozlowski was already mad at something. Ty, or Austin Dillon comes over and goes, hey, I didn't like that. And, Ty, and Brad Kozlowski goes, I don't like getting hit under yellow. Yeah. He's talked about it several times how he doesn't like to get hit under yellow, especially. And so I think uh, that's what it was. Yeah, and, and I think it's a frustrating track. Yeah. So they're going to be frustrated anyway. You can't pass. It's hard to, you know, all this stuff. So, I mean, I think they're just well frustrated anyway. And then mm-hmm. they just cow The fact that Brad Kozlowski still came back to finish seventh is pretty impressive. Because yes. I thought he junked his car. Yeah. Blew a also, tire and everything. respect <clears throat> him for not talking bad about Austin on um, social, social media. Because he, I mean, literally just said, Sorry, my phone. Anyway, he just he literally just said, I don't want to talk bad about it. You know? so yeah. like, I, I, I have a little respect for that for him. Yeah. Although, real quick, shout out to him drinking water extremely hilariously. <laughs> None of that went into his mouth. <laughs> None of that. And you I can find the clip it, to play it right now while we're talking. Go ahead. I'll try that is hilarious. I'll try to look for it. That is hilarious. Uh, did, you, did, you, did you know what I'm talking about? Uh, I don't. I, okay. but I can imagine because Rack is actually just a funny guy. And, and he, the little, he was like chugging water for the ass. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like full it. It's hilarious. Anyway, right. and then, I don't know. Austin Dillon, it just cracked me up. He's just the way it, it, I don't know. I don't really have a big fan of Austin Dillon. He's just. Yeah, you, you remember, <laughs> but, which I think. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> here's, but, here's, what, here's my opinion of Austin Dillon. And uh, bold take again, I guess. Um, I guess don't take this the wrong way if you're an Austin Dillon fan. But. In my opinion, he doesn't have a lot of talent. He's there because of his grandpa. He is a wannabe cowboy, now reality star, yeah. who's playing a NASCAR driver. Yeah. And I, honest to God, if Making it wasn't millions. for Richard Childress being in the sport, don't think he'd be in there. No. I no. don't know. No, no, no. Yeah, I agree. I don't know. That's just my take. So you can you can disagree if you want. That's fine. Tell me if you disagree. But <laughs> real, real quick to, to end this part, do you think... They'll move on to other tracks. Their little rivalry, um, whatever it happened. No, because I don't think Austin Dillon's man enough to do anything. Yeah, he, Brad Kozlowski almost flipped him in Michigan. Now, granted, I think it was a mistake. Yeah, Brad Kozlowski said it was a mistake. But if that wasn't enough to make him riled up and get frustrated enough to do anything, I don't think this will. Yeah, and I don't think I think Brad Kozlowski. <clears throat> the only thing he'll do. Yeah, I don't think he'll rack on purpose. I think he'll give him a little nudge or something like that yeah. just to say, hey, remember, you know, remember me type of thing. But yeah, I don't think it goes on either. Yeah, I, I just think. want to see what you thought about it. So. Yeah. All right, shifting right into third gear here. Chase Elliott still on the hot streak. Last four weeks, he's finished first, second, first, second. Yep. And, and yet so, he's very hard on himself. Right I know. <laughs> I, I, think, I think he's a little too hard on himself, which uh, – it is what it is. I mean, if you feel like you gave the race away, um, I get mad when I'm playing a NASCAR video game <laughs> for a second when I feel like I could win. Yeah. So if it be in real life, then I could I can see that. Yeah. But at the same time, he still has a big heart hot streak, and uh, 
and uh, I think I think he is just can going to continue because Pocono. I don't really know how good he is at Pocono. I can't remember the statistics there and how good he is, but um, <clears throat> mainly because I hardly ever watch those races because they've just been so boring. Yeah, not really I just usually Pocono. hit the highlights and usually I plan if I would have a weekend trip, I plan it around the Pocono races because yeah. I don't really care. Yeah, but uh, that's how it's been. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> but <laughs> that's what I did. <laughs> but anyway, I'll watch next week. We'll see how it is. But I know his oh, his team was Jeff Gordon's team. Jeff Gordon was awesome at Pocono. Mm -hmm. So he could be good. I don't know how it goes. But then the next week is Indy Road Course. That's a road course. I think he does good there. So I think yeah. next couple of weeks, I think still he still continues yeah, that. Yeah, and like I said, I hope <laughs> it, it... And there's got to be a point where the hot streak ends, right? And he has a couple of bad races. Mm -hmm. Hoping that happens right before or just barely into the playoffs. And then he's how I he think, normally is in the playoffs. Yeah, I, th I think so. uh, Chase Elliott is very much a driver that... The longer the season goes, the better he gets. It's the, it's the same way for the races, too. The longer the races go, the better he gets. If you just notice, he just he starts off to where he doesn't get in his rhythm right away. Then once he gets in his rhythm, he's one of the best drivers, as long as he has a good car. And that's how it goes. He doesn't have very many issues. Then that's how he, that's just how he is. Some drivers are like that. Tony Stewart was like that, too. It's just sometimes that just yeah how they are. But, um, yeah, I think it continues. Chase Elliott, I think, in my opinion is just a lock for the regular season championship mm -hmm. he always gets stage points yeah and even when he finishes bad he usually is like top five in every stage so he ends up getting a lot of points yeah i think he goes into the playoffs as the number one seed and i just hope and pray that how he's doing now continues for the rest of the season yeah and he ends yep. up getting championship number two that'd be awesome that'd be pretty cool right, if Kyle Bush retires Kyle Busch retires or isn't, isn't back next next year there's no multiple multi championship wins no driver with multiple championships next year, active, yeah. actively. Kyle Busch is the only one right now. So <laughs> I'd like to that. see somebody do that. Yeah. Shifting in the fourth gear, the playoff picture, it is getting good. It is really good. I'm hoping that there's 17 winners. I just want to see what happens. Yeah, because that's never happened. Mm -mm. Um, I don't think 14 has ever happened. No, 14 has happened a couple that's times, it? but not in the playoff era, I don't think. Oh no! Yes, I mean, I mean, like this playoff. Oh, in playoff era, I, no, it hasn't. The that, last, the last year it happened uh, this quickly is in 2011, I think. Is what okay. they said. Well, because that's what, like, I always remember. There's always four or five spots at least open that people are finding points wise. Mm -hmm. But now it's literally two. I know, and it's like good. Like Will this Miller, is really good. Martin Truex Jr., Kevin Harvick, Ryan like, Blaney, who is second in the regular season championship, could miss yeah. because he doesn't have a win. Yeah, that's crazy. That is crazy. Now and it's just so crazy now that because Christopher Bell won messes mm -hmm. everything up too. Like, if there's more than 17 winners, then that means the person with the win that's winning your in era is out, mm -hmm. and uh, that would be awesome to see. Yeah. I just think it'd be yeah. cool. I think it's possible Seems for that person. Yeah, true. But I think it's possible. Though. I think it is. So. Martin Truex Jr., Ryan Blaney, Kevin Harvick. Mm -hmm. That's your three right there. Yeah. that could legitimately win it every week. Yeah, that is that is still has yet to win. Yeah. And so I think they're good. Kevin Harvick, I think, is what, like fourth in regular season championships or something like that? Maybe that's Martin Truex Jr. I can't I remember. I don't, I, don't know. I don't think so. But, uh, don't maybe know. he's eighth. I can't remember. But anyway, and they're out. Yep. They are out right now. Yep. So I think they have a really good shot. All right. Shifting right into fifth and final gear is just the race overall. Overall, I think it was a pretty decent race. I don't think it was the best race ever, but New Hampshire is never the best race yeah, ever. I don't. I'm not a big fan of New Hampshire, but I mean, I've watched the whole race. So yes. Yeah. I mean, it was okay. So. It wasn't bad. So, for a New Hampshire race, it, it was actually pretty solid. Um, so, for figuring it in as a New Hampshire race um, and then adding it to the races overall this year, though, I'd give it probably 75%. That's exactly what I going to say. Oh, yeah? yeah. 75%. So. That's exactly what I was going to say. <clears throat> well, there you go. And so, I think, I think it was pretty good. It had... Uh, a few good cautions, you know, just to good shake up things. Make it interesting. Yeah, yeah. And then, but and then it ended in the long green flag run. That's how New Hampshire always seems always, to end. Always, always. It's the, always pit strategy. Yeah, always it's always pit strategy, strategy, like fuel mileage. Yep. I would, uh, Which is okay to have. I mean, it's, it's, it's okay nice, to have it once in a while. Yeah, to yeah. have a track that's like that. But also, every year, it's like, oh my goodness. It's <laughs> like ever going to end a different <laughs> I way. I will... I do like the fact that it's only like 301 miles. Yeah. So it's not like 400, 500 mm -hmm. miles that you got to sit through. So, yeah. um, I mean, it's, it's, it's not bad. Yeah. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. So, but next week's Pocono. Not really looking forward to it. Like I said, <laughs> I I'm, I'll be away. I'll try to catch the race. I'm sure um, we'll have it on, on. We'll actually be headed home on the, during the race. So, yeah. hopefully, I'll probably catch a little bit yeah. of it. Enough to know what's going on in the list. I'm going to watch like it because now we do the videos. So, mm -hmm. I'm going to watch it to see how it is. I am interested to see if the next-gen cars can 
make that racetrack better like they have for others. Yeah. Uh, it is kind of higher speed. That seems to be the next-gen car's bread and butter. So uh, we'll see how it goes. It would be interesting. It's either going to be a good race or a dud, I think. so. Yeah, well, I'll be. I'll say I'll still listen and watch as much mm -hmm. as I can because obviously the videos, I need to know what's going on. But I'll be on the way home, so we'll see. Yeah. But, but that's it for us this week. Uh, if you like the video, give it a like. If you uh, want to leave a comment, then leave a comment. I'm always bad at ending these things. Subscribe, subscribe. Let us know what we can do better, and uh, we'll see you next week. Yep. Please subscribe. Every single one of you that watched this video, subscribe. Please. It would mean more than um, fruit to us, and fruit means a lot. This message is brought to you by Caleb Wagahoff. I can't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you just watch this podcast. Okay.